Hey guys, thank you for joining me and welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how I created these two very glitzy glammed up storage containers. They came out absolutely beautiful. Guys, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and don't forget to click the notification bell. That way you'll get all my videos. And please don't forget to follow me at my new Instagram page, which is Glam Home Decor DIY. So these came out absolutely beautiful, guys. So I'm going to get straight into showing you how I created these two beautiful storage containers. So for my first project, I'm going to use this black box. Now this box that I got came with some lipsticks inside. So I just took the lipsticks out, stored them, and now I'm going to use the box for this craft. I'm going to be using this bling wrap and I picked this up from, I guys, I think it might have been Etsy, but it's beautiful. It's glittery. It's this is absolutely beautiful so i'm going to use some rose gold paint all my tools and i'm going to be using some of my strong adhesive as well as my hot glue so first i'm going to start by painting the box i'm going to paint the top and the sides with this rose gold paint and um yeah i'm just going to just cover it first with one thin coating i'm going to let it dry for about a half hour and then i'm going to go back in and paint all the pieces again and then I'm going to let that dry for a couple of hours. So this is what that looks like guys. It's been drying for about two hours now. It's completely dry. And uh, yeah, so now it's time to start decorating the box. So first I'm going to start by cutting the top portion of the decoration this this part is for the top section of the box and i'm just going to use a marker and cut out the shape and then i'm just going to cut it out so this is a beautiful rose gold color guys this is absolutely beautiful So what I'm going to do is just make sure that this fits the box nicely. I do have a little bit hanging over the edge, but I'll deal with that later. I'm not going to adhere this down yet because I have to add some decoration on the sides first. So I've already cut some strips out and I'm just going to apply that to the bottom section of the box. So now that that's done, I'm going to start applying a two row strip of that bling wrap to the sides of the lid and I'm going to do that around the um, perimeter. So right now I'm just going to use this felt sheet. This is a self-adhesive felt sheet. I'm just going to cut out just enough to cover the bottom of our box.
So now that that's done guys, it's time to apply the top sheet of bling to the box. So what I'm doing here to make it easy to cut, I'm going to fold that section down, the part I don't need. I'm going to fold it down and then I'm going to cut it away. After that, I'm going to let that dry overnight. But guys, look how beautiful this looks. This looks absolutely stunning. And if you wanted to, you could line the inside of the box with some tissue paper, but I'm just going to I'll leave that as it is. I do have something that was inside, which I will replace. Okay, so now it's time for our next project. This container I'm using is an uh, old container. It's an empty container. It had skincare inside. I love the size of the container. It's nice and large. And I'm going to be using this diamond bling that I used last week in another video. I still have some left. I will be using that. This is a self-adhesive diamond wrap. The adhesive is very, very strong, guys. I'm going to be using this crystal brooch that I picked up from Totally Dazzled. And I'm also going to be using this two-inch mirror. Also, which is not in the shot, is the chrome contact paper that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using all my tools as well as my hot glue gun. So right now, I'm just measuring out how much bling I'm going to need to cover the bottom and the top of this container.
So right now it's time to cover the top part of our container and I'm going to be using, this is a chrome contact paper, it's self-adhesive. And I'm just gonna peel away that and I'm gonna apply this to our, the top part of our lid. I'm just gonna smooth that out and remove all the bubbles that might be inside. And after that, I'm just gonna remove the excess. So I really love the way this looks, guys. It looks absolutely beautiful. I love the way it looks. So right now, I'm just going to take that crystal brooch and I'm going to adhere it to the mirror. This will allow the brooch to have a little more reflection and a little bit more depth. And now I'm gonna take the second brooch and adhere it to the top of the first brooch just to raise the height of the brooch. And guys, I really love the way that looks. That's absolutely beautiful. And lastly, guys, I am going to add this little small crystal cap. I believe this is something for your valve on your tire it's like a bling little bling valve I think guys I picked that up from a flea market so anyway I'm going to use that little cap and I'm going to place it on top of my brooch just to give it a little bit of a cap and I really love the way that looks after that I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue and adhere that right in the center of our lid And guys, look how beautiful that looks. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I did go back in and add some felt to the bottom so it'll be a nice soft bottom as well. And it will give a nice finished look. And here's our two projects together, guys. They look absolutely beautiful. So guys, I wanna thank you so much for joining me today. And let me know what you think in the comment section. 
And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate it, guys. Stay well, stay safe, and stay blessed. And I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.